So you made a YouTube channel, but you're not getting any views. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how I drive traffic to my intended audience. Hey, what's up, Fishkeeping Jamaica? Uh, first off, thank you so much for featuring me on your channel. I'm super excited to talk about this topic. And uh, if you guys don't know, I, my name's Ty, and I have a YouTube channel called Aquariums with Ty. So I was asked to talk about reaching my intended audience. So let's jump into it. So YouTube is a pretty crowded space, and when it comes to fish channels, YouTube is even more crowded. So what I do is I try to narrow my topic as much as possible. And uh, you'll see on my channel that I did a lot of uh, firemouth cichlid videos. Nobody's making firemouth cichlid videos. And uh, if they are, it's some onesies and twosies. So there's not a whole lot of competition when it comes to getting discovered when it comes to firemouth cichlids. So that's the first strategy I do. All right, so the next thing that I think about is what is a problem somebody's having with firemouth cichlids or what are commonly searched terms for firemouth cichlids? And then I think, how can I make a video out of something like that? So let me give you an example. Uh, firemouth cichlids are a slower growing cichlid. So a lot of people have questions. Why is my, why is my cichlid not growing? Um, why is he so small still? And uh, so I did a video on firemouth cichlid growth tips. And it's actually my best performing firemouth cichlid video. So it's pretty awesome. But one thing I will say is like when you're thinking of a lot of different topics, not every topic is going to be a great idea. You're going to think, oh, this is a great idea, but then nobody's going to care about it. And it's okay to do that. It's okay if you just reach a few people because those people will come to your channel and then they'll watch the rest of your firemouth cichlid videos. All right, so the next part is a little bit debatable. A lot of people think, how often should I be uploading my videos on YouTube? And for me, for the longest time, I thought at least once a week. Well, I'm telling you, when it comes to the strategy I'm talking about, that's the biggest mistake you could do because not everyone is gonna watch your videos or even care to look at them. So uploading at least, um, a couple times a week or just as much as possible at least at first is the most important thing if you're uploading once a week and nobody watches your videos you just lost a month all right so the last thing I want to talk about is YouTube is a search engine so you need to use the things that it requires to be found in search and that is titles descriptions and tags so whatever you talk about in your video you need to mention that in your description and you need to mention that in your title and in your tags. And you need to use the same verbiage that you use in your video because YouTube also has audio listeners that also will decide what your video is about based on what you talk about. Anyways, Fishkeeping Jamaica, that's how I do things. And just talking about this topic, I'm not gonna lie, it was fun. You know, I usually talk about fish tips and product reviews, but talking about, you know, how I make videos, it's kind of fun.